Hi, I'm George Cow, and here's my sweet dog, Buddy. And we are here, actually, with my wife. Um, she's in the, the house right now, at an Airbnb in Benicia, California. Uh, I've been taking these every three weeks. We take just an overnight in a local local town Airbnb, uh, affordable place. But we were just so lucky to find this place. This is a <laughs> Ocean, not an ocean. It's, an, it's a view of a, I think it's a, it's a reservoir or a bay, I think. And this place has a sunroom, which is amazing. Um, we hung out for the day there. Anyway, in this short video, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, about videos. Uh, uh, one of the questions I got uh, in my Facebook group was from Lore, who said, uh, "What's my recommendation for using video to?" engage with audience uh, which my audience with one's audience um, you know there's YouTube there's Facebook video there's there's blab there's periscope so let me just talk a little bit about each one of these basically if you're gonna upload video I've noticed that uploading video directly to Facebook it, it gets the most engagement um, sometimes people think well I thought I did that you know I uploaded to YouTube and then I shared the YouTube link to Facebook but that's not the same take the video that's on your computer okay or on your phone if it's on the phone then what I do these days is I take the phone's video file put it on the desktop on the computer laptop and then I go to Facebook uh, and on my timeline I click on share photo slash video and then I find the video file and upload it directly to Facebook uh, if you do that and you also do this on YouTube as well, you'll find that you'll get more views and more engagement if you upload it directly to Facebook, okay? So give that a try. Try it, I would say, at least with 10 videos before you make a judgment on, on how it's working out for you. Okay, so what about um, Google Plus and LinkedIn and Twitter, because I use those as well. You know, I basically, for Google Plus, LinkedIn, and Twitter, I upload it to YouTube. I upload the video to YouTube. And then I share the YouTube link directly on Google Plus or LinkedIn or Twitter because you can't upload video directly onto those three platforms. Uh, but they, they, they don't get as much engagement as uploading it directly onto Facebook. So I do those Google Plus, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Twitter just for because there are some people who follow me there. But uh, you don't need to use all those. I would say if you're just going to use one video platform, just use Facebook for now, really. And then if you feel like you want to use more than, than YouTube, of course, then it's easy to share it from YouTube to Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter. Um, what about Blab and Periscope? Okay, so Blab and Periscope are live video platforms, um, meaning you are doing it in real time. I mean, this is pre-recorded. I could have, this could have been my 10th take. This is actually my first take, but uh, I, could have take, I could have done this video 10 times and you wouldn't know, but Blab and Periscope are like one take real time uh, with Periscope it's a lot of fun because it's people will watch it from different parts of the world and they'll press the, the, the screen to give you hearts uh, you ought to try it out try it out you know a couple of times um, people talk about all kinds of things on Periscope just give it a try and see how you like it I would say try it Periscope three times and see how you like it Blab is meant to be sort of like a panel discussion so if you want to have a discussion with a couple of colleagues on a particular topic uh, Blab is a great way to do it. Blab, I found, is a nice way for people to discover your your content and videos. It's I found that actually, in the short term, Blab is better for content discovery than YouTube is. In the longer term, though, um, it's better to have your video on YouTube because people might find it a year or two or three later. Um, so Blab is a lot of fun as well because it's it's live and it's easy to bring people on and have a panel discussion give it a try i would say do a couple of blabs uh blab is b-l-a-b dot i-m and and see how it works for you see how you like it i've already done a couple already i've really enjoyed it uh, you can use blab even as a as a solo kind of webinar lecturing you know online lecturing tool as well uh, and blab once you are using blab you can click record and and after you record it uh, after you stop the recording, Blab will automatically upload it to YouTube for you. So that's really convenient. So I hope that's helpful. And um, any questions, let me know. Until the next video, be well.